So thanks for coming back to my design class. What I thought we'd do today is have a look at how to use the paint bucket tool. So this should be a nice and quick and simple video because the paint bucket tool is hopefully very similar to some of the tools that you might have used in other applications before, such as maybe paint or something similar. The paint bucket tool is a very simple tool that we can use in Adobe Photoshop to fill in different areas of our canvas with a particular color. So for example, at the moment, all I have is a background layer. And basically, as you can see at the moment, the background layer is filled in with white. But what I can do is change this color to any other color I want using the paint bucket tool. So to find the paint bucket tool, what I have to do is go to the gradient tool, hold my left mouse key. And as you can see, the shortcut to the paint bucket tool is G. And all I have to do is release my mouse when I'm hovering over the paint bucket tool. And now you can see my cursor has changed to feature a small paint bucket. So to change the color that we want to fill this area in, all we have to do is go to our primary color in the bottom left hand corner here, select on this and it will find a color picker. And with this color picker, we can basically choose any color within the color spectrum. Now, if you want to learn more about the color picker, I have made a specific video on that. It's called the basics of color, and I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the color that I want to fill this background in with. I think I'll start off with a green. So I'll just select it green here on the right and then I'll move it slightly up to find the green that I want to use. I think I'll probably go for a slightly darker green. So let's leave it at that and then press OK. And now all we have to do to fill this background layer in is we have to make sure that we first selected the right layer in our layers panel. So as you can see, it is set to the background layer, which is very good. And all I have to do is tap once on the canvas. And as you can see, it's now filled in the entire area green. Now, if I wanted to only fill in a specific part of my canvas, well, what I'd first have to do is make a selection. So I can go to the marquee tool in the top left hand corner. It's currently set to the elliptical marquee tool. So I'll just use that and draw a selection. And as you can see, anytime I have a selection, if I now go to the paint bucket tool using the shortcut that I now have learned, which is G, as you can see, it's now changed. And now I'll just quickly go and select a new color. So let's go for a pink this time and press OK. And I'm still on the background layer. Now, if I wanted this to be on a different layer, we can create a new layer using this small icon here. And as you can see, it's now created a new layer and I'll just quickly name that layer to stay organized. Like that. And now all I have to do is I have to go to the middle of our selection and press with the paint bucket tool once. And as you can see, the fill has now confined itself to the selection that we have made. So all I have to do to get rid of this selection is go to select and deselect. As you can see, the shortcut is command D. And now I have filled in this area of my canvas. Now, one thing to bear in mind is even if I don't have a selection and I wanted to fill the outside of this circle, but still remain on the circle layer itself, well, what I can do just to make sure that we have a slightly different color, I will just create a new color again. Let's go for blue this time. And if I press here once, and as you can see, it's now filled in the transparent space around the image that we'd already created. If I were to now press on the image itself, you can see that it's now also filled in this part. But one thing you have to bear in mind is if I zoom in using command and plus on my keyboard, or control and plus for windows. And just using the hand tool, which the shortcut to is H to move my image. As you can see, there is this outline. So what I'd have to do is fill in this space a few more times until this outline fully disappears like so. And let me just zoom out again using command N minus or control minus for windows. So those were the fundamentals of the paint bucket tool. One thing to bear in mind is the color that Photoshop will always use to fill it in is the primary color, also known as the foreground color. Now, if you wanted the secondary color or the background color to be the color that you fill in, all you have to do is switch these two around by pressing the small arrow here or pressing X on your keyboard, which is the shortcut. And now if I go to the paint bucket tool by pressing G once more and filling in, you can see that it's now using the new foreground color. So that's just one thing to bear in mind to make sure that you always have the right color selected for the paint bucket tool. So hopefully you now know how to use the paint bucket tool. If you have any questions, then do leave them in the comments below. And please do consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you are interested in learning more Photoshop tutorials.